Look at this. That's my new chair. Finally, I have a good chair. Oh my god. It's about time that I just can move without the chair making weird noises and poof, 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 poof. it's so nice it's so comfortable and I feel pretty cool and yes I have to adjust this thing here because since apparently we will live here a little bit longer than anticipated once again um, I thought I brighten up the background a little bit so I can color grade myself and not look like a ghost because I don't know <laughs> I'm just not satisfied with the setup and slowly it's getting better I have now a brighter background and a chair but I will adjust it so you can read the rest of it um, it says welcome to the shit show and I thought that's kind of appropriate because today we will debunk <laughs> just to be upfront with you today's the first day I have my painkillers back <laughs> and I am weird I'm incredibly tired I'm kind of high and as weird as I am as usual so all of that together weird combination but that doesn't keep me from debunking today and we will debunk a video from the YouTube channel anti-globe and the video is called parallel light rays because apparently this guy doesn't really seem to grasp anything let's be real he has another series on his channel called Einstein sucks very intriguing and when I have finally slept a little bit I will take on this for next week oh my god but I thought since I'm not at my best <laughs> I thought let's just do a little sunray video and let's see what the hell his problem is shall we so light rays are said to travel in a straight line if it's in the same medium it will travel in a straight line from its perspective but for example when there is gravity it will bend but the experience of the photon would be a straight line but for example if the photon enters another medium for example into water you can see that there is some weird shit going on <laughs> that basically means light is traveling the path of the least time that's important just wanted to educate a little bit <laughs> a single ray of light will meet the earth basically parallel a bunch of rays of light will meet the earth parallel but the entire sun could not do that <laughs> I was just like, how can one single ray of light be parallel? To what? <laughs> but I think he heard what he said, but of course, how would he able to know what he's thinking without hearing what he's saying? So... The light rays from the sun would diverge away from the earth like this. You wouldn't see the full size of the sun if that was the case. So yeah, light rays are traveling in straight. We're not seeing, we wouldn't see the full size of objects, so we wouldn't get these, these different size lights that you see in this image. But we do, we do see different size lights. So obviously, um, there's something wrong in the explanation of parallel light rays from the sun. I mean, they would have to travel all the rays would have to travel like this. If you're standing like in the center there. In order for you to see the whole object, all the light rays have to travel to you. Okay, Mr. Anti-Globe. The thing is, 
The sun is very, very big, and the earth, compared to the sun, is very, very small. That's why people say the rays of the sun arrive at the earth basically parallel. Not 100% parallel, that's right, you are right here. But that doesn't debunk earth or sun or whatever, that just means it's not 100% parallel, but for our intents and purposes it is parallel, because huge sun, small earth, okay? This means that no matter where I start, whatever point I start from, the light, that point, has to emanate light in every single direction. Every single point on the sun has to emanate in every single direction. You could never, you could never say that, that light rays from the sun are parallel. Although we learned in school and in documentaries and everything that sun's rays are parallel and the sun emits light in every direction basically yes it's a moon but let's imagine it's the sun we learned that the sun emits its rays the photons in every directions perpendicular to the surface which is technically not really correct i think from every point on the sun the sun emits photons in every direction but the photons in all of the other directions we can just ignore because we don't see them the photons that arrive at earth are basically almost parallel because all the other photons just would miss earth and we wouldn't see them we know that in all different directions there are photons from the sun but we can see them we only can see the ones that hit Earth, and those are parallel. It's not that hard to understand. Yes, we didn't learn the technicalities, but I think almost everyone has at least heard of the concept that the sun emits its rays in all the directions, right? It's basically the same when you are standing in front of a mirror you can see the photons that bounce off of the mirror directly into your eyes. When someone is standing right next to you, he sees also the same objects, although from a different angle, because there are also photons bouncing off of the mirror into his eyes. Does that mean that there are different rays or that there are different pictures no it just means that when you look into a mirror all of the photons bouncing onto the mirror come from every possible direction and they're bouncing off of every possible direction and therefore on every possible place you can look into the mirror you will see something because there are photons everywhere in every direction. You just can't see them because they're not hitting your retinas. It's, it's not that hard to understand, right? That was dumb. <laughs> I genuinely never thought about that I would have to watch a video about such a basic thing where a grown man doesn't understand how the sun works, how light works. But I, I shouldn't be surprised. I mean, as debunkers, we've seen the depths of human stupidity. And Einstein was right. There are two things in the universe that are infinite. The universe and human stupidity. But in the case of the universe, I'm not entirely sure. I am I am sure about the human stupidity thing because boy was that video dumb. <laughs> I hope you did like this video. I tried my best to do a debunk in the state of mind I am. But I promise next week I will debunk his Einstein sucks series because as you know, I am a fan of Einstein. Please leave a like and subscribe if you did like this video and if you like these kinds of videos and are interested in commentary, 
chances are you would like my channel so maybe you think about subscribing i greatly appreciate it all of my socials are linked as always down below and a little announcement i mentioned it i think prior in another video i will change my channel name from jesse 102 to jesse 102 because i just think it's catchier please let me know what do you think about it is it catchier am i just imagining things because after this video i i I don't know if I know anything at this point. So thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in the next one and let's get right into the cuteness. Bye!